Hello, welcome back to the so podcast of many of us of depend Mike on UPS workers to deliver Today millions of packages to our homes, but UPS now a strike could be on the horizon. We'll hear from the UPS Workers Union next. Are they going to? Are we going to strike? Welcome back to GMA Three. Are we not going to strike? May threaten the way you receive UPS your packages. Contract negotiations between UPS and the International Brotherhood of Teamsters Union, which represents over three hundred thousand UPS workers, have come to it's a not halt. True. And each side is blaming the other for They'll walking away from the negotiations. And for more, let's bring in the Teamsters UPS General President Sean O'Brien. Sean, good to see you. Good to see you. Bring with this. Dollars. So UPS is saying you guys walked away from the table. You're saying UPS walked away from the table Listen what happened this. and what's wrong well ups can tell their story we know the real story at 4 15 a.m july 5th when we we're trying to get a deal we're very close they said they had no more to give and so they actually walked away and um that's why we're here right now we're trying to make certain that they understand how important this fight is for our 340,000 members that delivered goods and service through the toughest times we've seen pandemic and the crazy that needs part to is, happen well, look, to I mean, they say that we make at UPS an average working for poverty wages. Ninety-five thousand single mothers, single which dads, is not working crazy a lot. Look, everybody loves the UPS but drivers who work extremely hard. To make hard, that amount of those money, packages do not get on those trucks to work without those part timers. And, you know, UPS has the opportunity right now to do the right thing to 60, because they can set the tone on how hours, they reward like their employees who have made them the success that they are. I mean, they made one hundred. They say part timers make twenty dollars an hour to reap those benefits. And speaking of part time, uh, twenty dollars an hour. Part time worker wages. People that have been there for five, six uh, years make sixteen fifty on average. They pay their drivers ninety five thousand dollars a year uh, with Crazy. benefits, and part time workers get twenty dollars an hour with this health care eligibility, uh, pension plans. Why do you call this part time <laughs> poverty? Because they're not telling the true story. Ninety three thousand dollars. If a I full-timer. can make ninety five thousand dollars a year for 60, 60, 40 hours, hours a week, and it's an extremely tough there job. There you go. And when you talk about the part no, timers, their part time wage rate right now is about sixteen dollars per hour. UPS is selective. They pick and choose on who they're going to pay what area, and they can raise the rates. We want to establish a uh, livable starting wage for part timers, but also make certain we reward those part timers who work through the pandemic. We lost members as a I feel result like everybody of, needs of going rewarded. to work when there were no vaccinations, no protections, and all the while, from my understanding, the balance sheet kept I don't know how true this growing. is because they have we an NDA, be but rewarded. there was, was no leaked. hazard pay. There wasn't anything. They uh, offered these people for full time and forty thousand providing employees goods and services to get to a two dollars and like sixty cents raise in a five year span. UPS issued a statement saying, in part, the Teamsters have stopped negotiating despite historic proposals that build what I understand is they want pay, we want refusing to negotiate, rates. especially when the finish line is in sight creates significant unease among employees and customers and, and then they force to us to the work US economy they try to force us to work on holidays negotiate. they know what we want they know what our members need they try to force and us to UPS work Saturdays causes a strike it's going to be on UPS I mean they self-inflict these wounds on themselves our members are the best in the business they provide the best services and it's shame on UPS they have an opportunity right now we have the right thing won a lot of stuff in this negotiations where and can you from talk my understanding that, that you've been hearing from, from what some Sean, of the, the guy on the screen themselves. says that we have well, I mean most they haven't the compromised anything that Look, they asked UPS is a very we got everything job. so far they asked We've but we got AC thankfully in a lot of people find that as a bad thing a lot of these teachers are making a joke about having AC but but more importantly dignity and respect in the work there it is what gets you guys back to the table is there something that needs to happen they're gonna put a ventilation in there Tell us they're going to agree to what to our reduce the heat inside the truck. Is. We've been very transparent. People are mad because in these, all uh, they see is fans. And, uh, no, no you're not just getting a fan, right, dude. We'll you're getting watching. Thanks for getting on the train and coming on down for us. Great. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. I right, appreciate sure. it. Let's see what else we got here. Beautiful live picture at the White House. The same truck. The same one. On Friday morning. Strike preparations are moving into, quote, high gear after contract we're ready. negotiations we're ready collapsed to strike. on Wednesday. Both UPS and been negotiators for the employees blamed uh, each other for the, last for the talks week. breaking down, with the Teamster All saying the UPS world, we walked got, away from the table we got the, while UPS, uh, UPS the union airline. stopped the negotiations. There now are just 24 days All the pilots the for current UPS, UPS that are employee UPS contract stand behind us. For an update on where things stand, let's bring in the general president of the Teamsters, teamsters Sean O'Brien. Sean, different thanks companies. for being with us. Standing behind us. Uh, I'll let you walk us through the state from your point it's of view on the negotiations, uh, but also important to point out for my viewers making what strike happens if, if they this don't agree. goes on on it's July crazy. 31st. If there's no deal before then, what does that mean for consumers? What does that mean for the economy? Well, if there's no deal by July 31st, then UPS chose to strike themselves. We've right. made a lot of progress since January. 
We've got 40 We're asking for what we want. And a national they don't agreement. want to give it to us. Uh, we've come to uh, agreement on most of the terms. They're the one choosing to strike. All they got to do is agree what we asked for. And, uh, July 5th at They uh, fucked us on the last contract. They abused the, they no everything. Everything we wasn't about part-timers. Everything in the contract was worth more for the, anymore in this the, country. Uh, for so they the said they had no more to give and that was it. So uh, we've been making plans in case they don't come to their senses and choose to strike themselves on what we're going to do. When you're on 9-5, you have three days to go over it. And so in order for you to get paid. Give us a little more specifics as to what that means. Have their own particularly route. at a time the second day inflation really that they went over the so following day they go and work in their own members because thousand don't work uh, in the same route service you won't get paid for times, the pandemic with total so disregard they, for they their just jump them the around their families they force and, them and you know ups has uh record profits to work over hours that they don't want to work and uh, now it's Some time to pay the people that made them the success that they have hours they'll be out there with their rhetoric saying you know our our employees make ninety three thousand. And that might be true for the drivers and tractor trailer drivers, but they're working 60, 65 hours per week. What they don't tell you is about the unsung heroes in those buildings that a, unless the package is loaded uh, on those trucks, they don't get delivered. Tra- those tractor are the trailer single mothers. driver, those are the people working two a, and three a feeder jobs driver. Poverty wages, they make 150. To make a living. They need to be taken they gotta work care of. They need to be rewarded. Work 70 hours a week. And UPS chose not to do Ridiculous. it right now. UPS knows exactly what we need. If I want to make 120, to get this I got I got to work 12, so 13 Sean, hours down, every said, single day. The White House has not been involved. We should note there is no labor sector. Secretary at the moment, um, but but speak, to, if you will, to this national. If I work eight hours, moment we're in about workers every day. And frankly, I'm only making seventy five. Or, or, or threats thereof. The, the writer strike, of a course, year. out in Hollywood. Right. We've had the train conductors and uh, only making seventy five uh, a year because of this. You, what, what uh, do you think this is the holiday? Right and is it connected to Christmas the comes around? Then well, we I think get what it is, is all these people hours. People are fed up with seeing how many these big corporations rake in all these profits, you know, and don't reward the people that make them a success. And, it, and it's it's great for the labor movement because people are finally realizing it's about Main Street. It's not about Wall Street anymore. And the people that provide the goods and services should be rewarded accordingly. UPS has the right opportunity right what now. What I did like is they got rid of this two-tier, of how corporations two, two, should treat four, people. They should be out uh, there position, making which that is they are paying person these that's supposed right to work making sure they're providing good work and conditions. In the warehouse you know, anything that happens approximately July, four hours after that we don't get an agreement and then go drive for four hours or more you know for themselves. overtime sean uh and by the way but they abuse that a lot of accolades from they make labor. all the two two voice drivers just drive ask me and is on the board of man they don't work in the warehouse and then go drive this really come down to uh the, when you look the, at how the ups the reason why the two two four was during the pandemic. created was wow to work four hours in the warehouse really and then go relieve the nine five drivers so they don't go over the nine as though that they are uh, at UPS are oblivious but to they use them the sacrifice for and the fact that as you say some for, of them are living from almost the beginning like level. From eight o'clock or when nine o'clock bonanza of money during and the then give them a full I mean, ass route with like 200 and something and, stops and, and, and 13 hour days it's about 100 billion dollars and then the nine fives go over and it's 100 a, makes no 100 sense billion. it's embarrassing for them when they're part-timers who Provide the goods and services. I've had those trucks, supervisors ask me, "Oh, are you going to make your nine five? Subsidized. Like, housing, no, I need this taken off. Food stamp program. And all right, we'll see you tomorrow. They got an opportunity right now to shine they don't even as a corporation, and do the right thing, and make sure I have to bring stuff back to the building for full time because I can't make well. my, my hours not an easy because job. we're only allowed to work fourteen hours. In the neighborhood, see their their UPS driver, him or her delivering. So we have to bring shit back. Happy, and they don't even care. They don't see the unsung heroes sacrificed inside these warehouses with extreme conditions. They should be rewarded accordingly. So, Sean, before we let you go, just give us an update as to what's next. The deadline looming. Are there more talks scheduled? What do you hope to see happen? Look, UPS knows exactly what they need to do. To Hopefully, get a, get a call this week. We we're very close we go in at negotiation. one point, and but we've been clear. Twenty we've stated our intentions twenty-one days all along. left. We've made progress. UPS wants Not a very deal. long time. We, we still to have to get the contract. Teamster and then General President they have to ask Ryan, if we this approve this contract. Your, so then we have to vote it in. For the American people who count on the hard so we and need excellent it now. work they do every day. We appreciate you being here. Thanks so much. Thank you, sir. What Actually, no, I don't like this one. It's not very informative. And I am a little under the weather. That's why I'm wearing a mask right up to the last minute here. And luckily, United Airlines. Oh, this is not the video I thought it was. Sorry. Section 1B. This 
this is an update of what, what we actually got. We'll just listen to Sean. Last update was two weeks ago, June 7th. We've made big progress uh, before June 7th. This is so far everything that they have won. To date, we have 55 total tentative agreements. We've made some big demands. all the supplemental. Made some big demands and got some good results, including air conditioning uh, and the vehicles to come and lots more. AC we'll is a big report, thing. We dropped our I economic think. package on the company today. It is the largest, most expensive economic package in U.S. labor history. Our, our committee has been working very hard um, developing this so economic package. What they're saying and is I'm convinced, and I am that clear part timers in the warehouse make the best roughly thirty five dollars an hour. Uh, proposal comprises twenty three pages. Really, not what they make. They make half that. Day, no matter what classification you work in, it's ridiculous. Whether you're full time or part time, we we'll propose to improve pension benefits. We. We've, and uh, put protections on health and welfare benefits. We're asking for big money because you have all made this company the success it is. We'll run through all the TAs in just a bit. We haven't really we will hear heard from and like the language on the committee. for the actual contract. I believe it's going to be on the app. We're starting because they have, a, they have an NDA very shortly. We've got contract um, action teams. So I, don't, I don't know exactly ongoing. the wording. We'll hear more and is... about this. Uh, and the supplemental again, contracts that we we supposedly these, uh, calls. got. We want everybody to stay engaged. Um, so I'm hoping we can get those soon. For daily because supposedly these are more member network. friendly for language wise compared to things off and share a few company words. like uh, I want to welcome Brandy benefits Harris. off of it. His company is fine uh, loopholes like crazy. Person at UPS out of local we have nine sick days. In Washington we get in State. trouble for welcome using a sick day. Makes no sense. Good evening, everybody. I'm Brandy Harris. Mr. Harris, let's review the tentative agreements achieved let's so see. far. Remember, subject to member review and ratification. Right now, currently, as I stated earlier, the ones we have members, 55 we can review tentative these. agreements reached so far. 55. That is the most tentative agreements we've had, and we've not even done bargaining yet. And they are all, all favorable for our members. After 24 all favorable. days of bargaining, we've That's been very important aggressive. Keyword right there. We've never done this favorable. process as efficiently as we have for members. Uh, in the last 20 days. We've got a great committee uh, comprised of, more importantly, our rank and file members and leaders from around the country. We'll run through all the non-economic TAs. There we go. First, revisit the summary of the TAs reported on June 7th. And then we're going to go through all the new TAs as of June 20th. So here's a preview, preview summaries of the TAs that we reviewed on June 7th. Article 1, Section 1, Recognition, Union, Shop, and Checkoff. Stewards can remain on the clock for actual time spent in the orientation. I'm a shop this steward. This will give stewards more paid time to spend with new employees to educate them on the benefits of joining the union. Article and the crazy six, part section about it is four, when I became a, a, uh, a shop steward, the introduction I was drones, ridiculously tuning or harassed the duration of this on a daily. This agreement would require UPS to meet with the I was never bothered with five days before any proposed change. But then when I became a shop steward, didn't agree, it would go to article I was and arbitration. getting followed. Article six, section I was five, getting hourly training. My grievance is thrown in the trash. For hourly trainers, doubling it from an extra fifty. For trying, to, they were trying to intimidate me. Article six, section. So six, technology I don't grieve them, or we've I can just, you know, UPS from issuing issuing any. Be scared to go in there and just give them grievances on and be more Under on the their side, side than the anything. Stop the installation. Instead of fighting back and standing up for my members, force the company to prove the union that's that didn't work out for them. Are disabled. Forward facing when I want a 9-5, it's the same thing. But our new when I want a 9-5, the 9-5 is taking what it is, means, is I only want to work nine and a half hours. That includes my lunch. So I need to be clocked off by 7 o'clock for members returning every single day. Duty. Article they would follow me, tell me I wasn't working hard enough for them, for that I wasn't doing enough work not for them, taking too long because they want me to follow based off their computer. Tell them, I'm not a robot. If I can't do it, have the ability means I can't do it. Transfer they want to send me out with almost 200 piece, uh, deliveries. No, purposes. I can't do that. Article 26, Section 6, short post. We, we so I had to bring shit back, and they hated it. The they wrote me up. They tell me I was sabotaging by reducing all this bullshit. For a short post package. We also want language that increases the percentage of short post packages to be redirected to our drivers each year from 42% to 50% by the end of the contract. These two gains alone will put millions of packages 
back onto our packaged cars, creating thousands of new teamster jobs. Article 36, non-discrimination. We added gender identity, sexual orientation, and any other class protected by law. Article 38, change of operations. Job vacancies created by a change of operation will now be offered to Teamsters and all other facilities in the jurisdiction of any given local union before UPS hires off the street. Article 39, trailer repair shop. This would confirm that the expiration coincides with the expiration of the National Master Agreement. Articles 37, Section 1, harassment. Increase the potential monetary penalty right here. for UPS for harassment cases from Let three them days harass pay me again. to five days pay. Article 26, Section 2, old freight runs. We eliminated any reference yeah, that's, to UPS freight. We don't have LHT freight no more. Runs. Article 43, Section 2, sleeper team operations. We increase allowance and reimbursement penalties from $50 to $100 for each rest period when UPS cannot provide lodging. Article 43, premium service guidelines. Requires sleeper team work rules to be developed where sleeper they, teams are running. Also requires leased equipment to be consistent they also with contractual requirements. Higher the penalty for 9-5. Maternity and paternity triple time. leave. Requires UPS to provide proper location with privacy and reasonable break time for breastfeeding purposes. That's cool, Article but 18, how are you going to breastfeed your child? Package car. Traction work. tape I don't get that will one. be installed in all package cars added to the fleet within the past 14 years. Article 20, Section 5, Identification, requires all UPS management personnel to wear ID badges and provide their name upon request. Article That's 18, good. Section 8, makes it easier to agree for working. employees. All inside employees now will be allowed to have their cell phones inside the facility without the this one right here. management approval. Let's cover off. Let's they make cover us, all the new They try to make TAs you put a sticker Remember, on your phone. A total of 55 and put your HDMI. TA so far. Zero number in there concessions we've cleaned that's, up a lot of small that's language. invading privacy right we've there established more inclusive language i don't do it better i just walked through members additional tas that we read the fact that June they 7th. passed that right there Article in the contract three, that means they can't do that shit no shop more. and check off a joint dues committee will meet and develop an electronic membership and dues checkoff form that will be presented to potential new employees during the application and orientation process article 8 national grievance procedure cases in section one cases involving only national language may now be filed directly to the national grievance. That's a big one too. To help speed up the grievance Because process. there's no point of sending uh, it to a pre Four more panel will add if it's a national to thing. To the Western Region panel. Article 10, loss and damage. Section 3, employees experience Which happens a lot. or theft a lot. through their vehicles while parked in a designated employee parking lot will be eligible for reimbursement from the company up to $500 to offset what insurance does not cover. Article 12, polygraphs and time clocks. A new UPS payroll system this should be interesting. will be developed by January 2026 that will provide employees with a long time from now, though, so. finish times, pay codes, pay amounts, scheduled time off, and the time. But they do mess with our a time card a lot. Made by management. So they we'll literally -time, uh, alter our we'll time card purposely. As we refer to white well, crime syndicates. Even asking us. Cards. Air conditioning. This is the biggest game we've got so far. One of the biggest demands our members had, Article 18, safety and health. Section 14, package cars. All vans, pushbacks, fuel trucks, package cars, shifting units, and 24-foot box fans after January 2024 shall be equipped with air conditioning. Single fans will be installed in all package cars within 30 days of ratification, and a second fan will be installed no later than June 1, 2024. Air-conditioned package cars will first be allocated to Zone 1, which is the hottest areas of the country. All model year 2023 and beyond package cars and vans will be delivered with factory-installed heat shield and air induction vents for the package compartment, reducing the heat within these package cargo areas. I don't know what that within is. Within 18 months of ratification, how that's all help. package cars will be retrofitted with heat shields and air induction vents. Again, to make certain that those, those cargo areas are well-ventilated, and the heat the ventilation down. system is a big thing. Package will be established within 10 days of ratification for the purpose of studying methods of venting and insulating the package compartment. A decision must be made by October of 2024. Is that back of the truck? The issue will be if it's 100 uh, to the grievance procedure. Let's just say if it's 100 degrees. The, will replace the back of the truck is like 140. Cars and vans Ridiculous. The life of this you walk in that truck, it's like Article hitting a heat wall. Competition, and as soon as you five, walk in there, boom. Package car drivers may sweat. volunteer to work over 60 hours in a 70-hour work week. 
but will not be forced to do so um, allowed under the current contract. Voluntary will be paid double time for all hours worked over 60. Article 27, emergency reopening, new section two, now requires company to bargain with the union over the effects on a national level regarding if we ever see, and hopefully we don't, another pandemic. pandemic. Article 37, nine five, harassment committee, section one B, reduce the notice required for an eight hour request from five calendar days to three, to three. days. That's a good Double one the too. penalty for eight hour request violation from two hours straight to two hours at double time. Let's Require go. the company to adjust More the money in our pocket. before their start time. The company is also required to make further adjustments during the day to ensure the driver completes their day in eight hours, provided the driver in eight hours by 1 p.m. In eight hours. For the first time. They try to tell us it's nine, nine hours. For over dispatch no, eight hour request, you're going to make us work nine hours week. and say it's OK. It elevated makes no sense. Within 45 days of filing and also increased penalties for nine five violations after the elevator right here to quadruple time quadruple yes, time that right quadruple quadruple time. time section three the company must give drivers a 24-hour notice before a supervisor's ride including the reason for they the ride, and must provide such they make people the ride depending the on the person the if you article put a 40, target on your back because you're not working hard the for them the and delivering the amount that you're supposed to, to say we made some and changes. their view, we still have some more to go. they'll follow you uh, once we get and try to punish you package. for not working article harder. Air Committee, Section 1D, full-time air drivers will receive you have drivers can dri for ride along for like 10 Section times in a year. What you need to do is twice. A three and a half hour guarantee when working on a holiday. Section 1A5, when feasible, Full-time employees will pick up drop boxes, and the size of the drop box will not be increased without approval from the union. Section six, wages. Upon ratification, de-ice employees at air hubs and gateways will receive an additional dollar per hour. Pushbacks will receive an additional 75 cents per hour. And begin in January 26, 2026, mm -hmm. K-loaders will receive an additional 50 cents per hour for the duration of their shift. So if you qualify for any of these um, uh, monies, you will receive them for the entire shift, even if you work 20 minutes at them. Premium Service Committee, Article 26, Competition, Section 1A. All service enhancements projects removing loads from the rail must now be approved by the Premium Service Committee. The definition of temporary has been reduced from one year to six Two months. Six. The company must designate an area for contractors to drop and pick up loads and review this with the local union. Outside peak, they can only remain on property, the gypsies, for one hour. During peak, only four hours. When this time limit expires, they must leave the property. I was kind of hoping Section they got rid of the DVDs, service but they didn't. Section. The employer may not subcontract feeder work if a qualified feeder driver is on layoff or displaced from the classification. Section six, removal of loads from the rail. Deletion of an entire section that allowed the subcontracting of our feeder work over the past five years after they trained and hired 2,000 sleeper teams. Article 43, Premium Services, Section 1A. After the bidding process is concluded, unfilled sleeper bids will now be offered to all facilities within the local union. I think sleeper is like feeder drivers displaced, laid off, cost country. out of classification. Section I don't know much, B, very much about no the, the feeders. No sleeper runs will be allowed, which do not pull loads a minimum 550 miles on the initial leg of the run. Section two, any subcontracting of new custom contracts must be approved by the union. Section four, all mileage layover runs, sleeper runs, or mileage turn runs must be approved by the premium service committee. At Article 43, premium service guidelines. Maximum wait time. I think he's talking about mostly feeders stuff. Sleeper drivers reduced from two hours to one hour and no more than a total. I really don't know much about feeder people stuff. Safety and health committee. This I don't know how their stuff works. To get some major changes and some great improvements for our members. Article, um, I'm sorry, Article 16, leave of absence, Section 3.3. If a DUI citation later results this in is a non conviction, cool. Not gonna lie. the employee may appeal we'll make to mistakes. be released. From the aftercare program. Section they six, give you an opportunity to keep your will job. Retain two weeks of vacation time that is not subject to be taken for FMLA. Prior contract, the employer could take all but one week. Article 18, safety and health equipment, section seven. The company must remove sales and allow feeder drivers to inspect the loads 
if they dispute the, the vacation thing is kind of big because they kind of trying to force us to take our vacation vehicles instead of holding on to them where available section so, 16 i mean you just need one you never know occupational noise assessment will be conducted at it's all technically in the contract fitted as of right now section 18 vehicle and personal safety by national safety and health committee i want to say by april 16th program you have the day wrong dog bites if you don't section have your vacation picked by them package handling then the supervisor has the 70 pound package the manager be co-mingled has the right to pick your vacation for you on a moving belt or slide section 24 the union will now also monitor conditions in and around work areas to prevent issues such as egress section 27 a heat illness prevention plan and yeah, they don't care about egress egress means you have the, the plan walking path pretty much what egress pretty much is you have a walking path for, each for uh one gallon insulated water incidents like say drivers, say your vehicle catches on fire and you're in the back minimum 18 you should be able to walk or run out to get out down the aisle article 20 examination but they jam pack your truck to where five you can't Order even get up to two into your truck. Straight time for airport badging. It's unsafe. Article 35, employees bill, license, substance, and alcohol testing. Section 3.13, disciplinary action. A positive reasonable cause test for a non-driving employee will now result in a warning letter plus rehab for the first offense. Warning letter and rehab for the second offense outside of five years um, in a, uh, for the first and a third offense may be a dischargeable offense. That's the 55 tenant agreement so far, but we've got. There's so much that they, I feel like they won a lot so far. Now, the biggest part is the money. Now, supposedly we're on hold for the part-time money and they only want to give them a small amount of money, which we want is to give them a bigger amount to where they don't have to work two jobs to survive we teamsters are trying to get them enough money to where they only have to work one job and then they want to give the people that's been there for years the catch-up which means like say you have a, a part-timer starting at 20 but our older drivers make 20 so they would give the old timers more money so they're not getting paid the exact same as new hires so because tech like when i first started all these people that came in and they brought your your minimal wage up to 16 or whatever it was i started at 10 28 i believe and we would get obviously get raises once a year but when we got our um minimum wage brought up they would use that minimum wage raise as our raise so every time that the new hires came in they got paid the same as us and it's still going the same as today it's crazy um that should be it for it i i think honestly we have a 99.9 chance of striking if ups does not make pick up that phone and give us what we want it's set it's it's a set deal we're striking people don't want to and i don't want to technically but we will do it to sacrifice but if you guys made it this far hit that like and subscribe and comment what do you guys think thank you for coming